Welcome one and all, whoever may be watching this, this will be part 8 of Siberia, the world before and I just want to say I am a bit sick at the moment so if I'm a little bit lacklustre or maybe just not enjoying things as much as I have previously that will be why. Okay so we were trekking through the mountains to get to this uh, refuge. I don't quite remember what it's supposed to be. <laughs> that must provide energy to the refuge. Okay, some good old-fashioned hydroelectrics. Okay, it looks like going up's my only option here. I've seen that before. Must be it. Now I should try to find a matching point somewhere. <laughs> In the sky. Oh, I picked the wrong one. Beautiful sky in either case, but that's not enough. Uh, I mean, surely areas on the mountain would be the way to go. Would be my guess. Just what I was looking for. Perfect. Okay, so the railing is go. Maybe here? The rocks? No, it doesn't match. Well, hold on, I wanted to do the rocks, but... okay. It's a bit hard to see sometimes. That's not specific enough to draw any solid conclusions. Love. Okay, the sharp peaks, that would definitely do it. I, that's, Those sharp peaks, they look exactly the same. That's kind of what I was after by the whole rocks in that section, I guess. Aw, oh, heart-shaped rock wall! Where's that? That rock wall. It can't be a coincidence. Oh, there's someone behind you. Behind wow. you. Hardly changed at all. Breathtaking, isn't it, Fraulein? Beautiful. It is called the Silberspiegel. Our local pride. Judging from my painting, it wasn't that different 60 years ago. Ma'am, is everything all right? Yes. It's just that you look very much like the person in the picture, Fraulein. So, you do know her then, don't you? Can't say I don't, but it was a very long time ago. Actually, I've come a very long way to find out about her. I would really like to know who she is, or was. It's very important to me, you see? And why is that, Fraulein? I wonder if this lady is her. I, I made a promise to a friend who happened to save my life before. Before losing her own. I see. By the way, what is your name? Oh. Walker. Kate Walker. I am Lenny. Lenny Renner. Nice to meet you, Frau Lenny. Demoiselle, my dear. My legs never did manage to get me to church in time. Oh. Demoiselle Lenny. Well, 
Skrull Line Walker. 1937, you say? Ah, that was before the war, when I could still run like the fawn wind. Father was the manager in those days. It was one summer evening that the whole story of your painting began. I remember it like it was yesterday. A group of scientists were staying at the refuge to prepare for an expedition to some faraway place in the east. They were being trained by a local alpinist who was to guide them. His name was Leon Kabatis. Oh, handsome as a Greek god he was. And an Olympic champion, no less. Very popular with the ladies. And he was lovely to me. Would give me a wink and a smile whenever I served him his beer. Thank you, Demoiselle Lenny, he would say. In French, if you please. Made me feel like a proper little madam. But then Frau Junta would always shoo me away. Frau Junta? Must have been in her mid-twenties. But of course, to me, she was an old hag, past it. And I didn't like the way she bossed my Leon around with that camera of hers. The refuge was buzzing, everyone was jolly, and the scientists were there, debating as usual about this and that. A cheerful bunch, really, despite their disputes. Except, that is, for one. Frank Hoss was his name. Preferred his own company. Though I could see, even with my young eyes, he was devious as the devil. But what about the girl in the picture? Well, she was there that evening too. She had come to work through the summer. Her name was Dana. Dana Rose. Ah, oh, she was as cute as a button and well-mannered with it. Even father was sweet as a lamb to her. Take care of the scientist drinks, then go around taking orders, and have a look at the stove while you're at it. Yes, Herr Gustav. Will you be all right now, Dana? It's the first busy night since you started, so just ask if there's anything you need to know. All right, my lovely? His accent doesn't match his name. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll be fine. Thank you, Herr Gustav, but it looks pretty straightforward. I'll be fine. That's the girl. Off you trot then, my lovely. Keep smiling, and you'll have them carrying your tray for you. I need to serve those drinks to the scientists. Okay, one spitz. One spitz plus brrrr. To Nibel? Am I supposed to remember that? <laughs> oh no, she's got a tray of something. Okay, let's go with that. I should go on the other side of the counter. Oh. Those drinks won't get served by themselves. Oh, okay. Okay, so... How do I do this? So one wanted a spitz. How do I combine them though? Okay, and then two of these. The keg's empty. I need to change it. Of course. 
was never going to be that simple, was it? <laughs> uh, okay. Whee! That should be it. Let's serve these gentlemen now. Jeez, if only working in hospitality was this easy. No, we'll have to go higher, I'm telling you. But my point is that it's highly improbable that any primate will be able to survive so high up, let alone thrive. And if they were thriving, we wouldn't be looking for them, would we? I say they've taken to the higher ground, and they only come down to steal livestock and game. Look out, chaps. Gentlemen, your drinks? Ah, good on you, lassie. Horst, make yourself useful and pass these around. First day, is it? Better make a wish, then. All right, I will. I wish you would tell me what all those maps are for. Ah, that I can grant you. They show all the different locations of an expedition we're planning. I see you haven't come just for the view, then. <laughs> oh no, Fraulein. We're only here for the beer, and a pretty smile. That's our trainer out there. Supposed to knock this scraggly lot into shape for the big climb in Baltayar. <clears throat> right. And what about you, gentlemen? Well, let me introduce you to my dream team. Horst Sauer, talented anthropologist and frequent but worthy pain in the ass, your mother. Rudolf Jaeger, distinguished ethnologist. And last but not least, Albert Bauer, paleontologist. And yourself? Reinhard Berger, biologist. As Herr Berger says, we're here to train for the origin expedition. In return for funding for our own projects back home. And for the love of science, eh, Horst? Oh, yes, of course, Herr Berger. I'm sure none of us would be here otherwise, would we? And what about you, my lovely? Oh, I'm Dana. I'm working here during the holidays, that's all. And what's that one of, if you don't mind me asking? That is Baltayar, a remote region in the mountains of northern China. That's where I'll be leading my team in a couple of weeks. And what's this expedition for? Well, keep it to yourself, but the code name is Origin. And if I have my way, it will likely change the way we perceive humanity. I'm curious to know what this Origin expedition is all about, though. If it's not top secret, that is. Put it this way, Fraulein Dana. If or when we discover what we're looking for, you will no doubt remember this conversation as your claim to fame. You will tell your grandchildren that you serve the Origin team. The team that discovered none other than the missing link of the superior race of humans, the Australopithecus habilis, the direct ancestor of Homo sapiens. Or, more vulgarly put, the abominable snowman. Oh, I see. Now I get why it's called Origin. Whatever we find, whatever we call it, it's likely to send shockwaves all through the world of anthropology. It will help us to explain how we evolved from Australopithecus to modern man, and then became... <laughs> he's off again. Get him started on anthropology, and he's like a bolted horse. I don't think Fraulein Dana wants you to clobber her with your explanations, horse. <laughs> I actually got really excited there because I know in China there are there's a certain area that's being studied um, 
looking at the origin of life and that's kind of where I thought they were going but okay the abominable snowman <laughs> I might only be a waitress but actually I find it quite interesting well Fraulein the origin expedition could lead us to a totally new series of studies or even reveal a new mode of tribal organization or a micro society by the discovery of a specimen that may well have played a major role in the evolution of modern man. Come, gentlemen, here's to the brown shadow for generously sponsoring this expedition which is sure to redefine our understanding of mankind. Oh, I see we're fraternizing with the personnel, gentlemen. Just giving a toast to our generous sponsor, Herr Hertz. May I remind you that this mission financed by my party is confidential? Do you know what that means, Dr. Berger? Yes, Herr Hertz. It means, gentlemen, it is strictly forbidden to communicate any details or objectives to anyone outside our circle, let alone to the first waitress to come by twinkling her eyelashes. Fraulein, as soon as you're done here, I suggest you get back to your chores. What a brute. That is one of the inconveniences of working with a heavily politicized private sponsor. But he's just doing his job. And I suppose, like anything else in life, there has to be some compromise to get what one desires. So, think nothing of it, Fraulein. It is the way of science. Indeed, it is the way of the world. The way of the world, Herr Berger? I'm sorry, but in case you do not know, let me tell you what members of the Brown Shadow do to Vagarins like me. They... They smash windows. They assault innocent people for no reason at all. They are fascists and criminals, Herr Berger. With all due respect, don't you feel ashamed to be associated with such... Such tyrants? I would be careful when expressing such extreme accusations, Fraulein. There are always overzealous members of any party, always have been. And even so, we are not politicians. We do not claim to save humanity. Our job is to explain how it came about. Why, if the scientific community had to hold progress at every political crossroads, then humanity would never have advanced any further than Homo erectus. Dana! Dana, chop chop. This isn't a French parlor, my girl. Yes, Herr Gustav. I... I'd better go. Thank you, gentlemen. So, Hoss is definitely a familiar name. What a strange mechanism. It reminds me of the automatons on the musical square. It is interesting listening to their justifications for um, being sponsored by the brown shadow. I do feel like so much of science is a little bit like that. <laughs> sort of get you, have to get your research grants from somewhere. And that's always the, I guess, moral dilemma. Um, where am I supposed to be taking things? Those paintings. I think Herr Gustav wanted me to help him choose the one he should buy. He must have left me a note somewhere. Dana, I have a little favor to ask you. Young Leon the Alpinist is trying to fob me off with his paintings. Uh, da 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 da. So I thought, as your father sells them, I'd ask you to choose. Hmm. 
I should take a closer look at those paintings before choosing one. Okay, so it's a waterfall. Nice. Uh, ooh, I like the waterfall. I'm going to choose that one. I think I'll pick this one. So glad Herr Gustav likes me to play for the clients. This way, at least, I won't get rusty. Okay, where's she going? Or did I just tell her to go? Oh, come back. Nope, come here. I need to add more wood in the fire. It's not enough. I need to feed the fire more. Uh... It's not enough. I need to feed the fire more. Better try another one. What? Hmm. Looks all good to me. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Impossible. No. That one is loose. Hmm. Looks all good to me. Impossible. Okay. What am I doing? Okay, so I've looked at those. Uh. What? Oh, no, don't go. What am I supposed to be doing here? So I've... Oh, okay. Take it. That should fit pretty much anywhere on the stove. Okay. So I need to find wood. Yes, okay, perfect. <laughs> Do I really need to inspect a log? Perfectly dry. Okay, so it just saved. Uh, let me... I'm going to assume if I throw this on the fire it should save. Um, I just need the camera to work with me. That should be it for the fire. But I think there's something wrong with the airflow. Uh No, how do I how do I look at all the stuff? Better try another one. Hmm. Looks all good to me. Okay, so then I'm assuming all of this is going to be fine as well. No. Impossible. Yeah, no worries. Is there anything around this side? Yes, okay. Hmm. Looks all good to me. This mechanism controls the air intake, if I remember correctly. That's it. I'm done here. Okay, yay! Alright, this is where I am going to leave it. Okay, take orders on the terrace, so I need to go do that next. Um, we'll finish up this area, I guess, in the next video. Um, hmm, I guess things are slowly... Un Raveling. I don't quite know what to make of things just yet. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, whoever has been. As always, I greatly appreciate it. And on that note, I'll see you on the flip side. Bye!